Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Sewing to Bourbon. I'm Glenn. This is Charlie. Charlie, why don't you tell them what's on the bar tonight? Tonight, we have a wonderful offering from Redwood Empire, The Lost Monarch. Cask strength. Ooh. Okay, Redwood Empire. Cask strength. Are you okay? I am great. I am very this excited. This is The Lost Monarch from yep. Redwood Empire. What is The Lost Monarch? It's a tree. They're all trees. Yes. I think maybe the tallest redwood in the Redwood Empire. Could be. I believe it may so. be on the back of the bottle. It's on the back of the bottle. So we've done several episodes on Redwood Empire. Yes, we have. Go back in our when YouTube. When I say several, I mean maybe two. Two. Or three. Maybe. Possibly. Three. Okay. Um, so this is the Lost Monarch. Cask strength. Cask strength. Yes. So the Lost Monarch is one of my, it was a really good bottle for a, what, $32 yeah, bottle 30 I think bucks. it was? Yep. This is the cask strength version and something that's interesting, and unless my research is wrong, this is actually a different mash bill than the standard Lost Monarch. It is. This is not a bourbon. This is a blended whiskey. The original Lost Monarch, and we're going to read from this, the original Lost Monarch was a 60% rye, 40% bourbon. And the mash bill for the rye was 95.5. The bourbon was 75.21.4, for those of you keeping track at home. This is a 55% rye and a 45% bourbon. So it's a blended whiskey, but it has a lesser percentage of rye. So the first one wasn't a bourbon either. It wasn't. Oh. It was a blended whiskey. Yep. Now that we have that established. Now that we have that established, <laughs> we can start drinking. Redwood Empire, um, it is distilled. Some is their own distillate. They source their own stuff. They plant a tree every time you buy a bottle. They're pretty awesome. They're beautiful, beautiful bottles. And we have been really impressed with their stuff. Yeah, so absolutely. California bourbon or and whiskey in I this think case. Every year that goes by, they're, they're distilling more and yep. more of their own products. So. Yeah, and, and that's when people talk about the bourbon economy, they always do it in a negative light. Uh, you know, oh, there's so much, and there's this, and there's that. But what people don't realize is bourbon gets better with time. So the more people that are out there distilling bourbon, whether it ends up in their own bottles or sourced to someplace else, everybody's like, oh, there's gonna be a bourbon glut. Awesome. That means there's gonna be more readily available, older, aged, right. at a lower price, and that's exciting if you're a bourbon drinker and more people distilling and trying to figure out different ways to stand out, Yeah, right? I, so competition we, is always good for the marketplace, for the consumer. 100%. And I like interesting mash bills, and this is a very interesting this mash bill. very interesting. Yes, it's a blended whiskey. We know it's not bourbon, but it's a very unique mash bill because the bourbon mash bill is a 74% corn, 20% raw rye, 4.5% malted barley, and 1.5% wheat. So it's a four-grain bourbon mash bill. Yeah with a three grain rye mash bill, all melded together. So I'm kind of excited to get and into very this. very rarely do you ever see like a half percent on a mash bill. Very <laughs> that, that alone makes it pretty unique. Leave it to California. Yeah. And raw rye, I don't know what that is, so. We'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at you that. You can Google it. It's pretty light. It is pretty light. Now, oh, this is 117.2 proof. Oof. And Uncut, it is, unfiltered. And a blend of three to 12 year old whiskey. Yes. So I would guess mostly. <laughs> judging maybe by not, maybe they're not mostly three, but on the lower end. There's yeah. that color. Very light honey. Yeah. Um, $79.99 at John O's in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. God bless you, John O's. Boy, it's got that rye funk, doesn't it? It's got some sort of funk. I get a big blast of ethanol right, mm -hmm. right kind of in your yeah. face, which which worries me a little bit. But well, there I wanna, is some. I want to nose it again here in a few minutes. Yeah. I do get that rye, that yeah. menthol, that pine. But other than that, I, I get some ethanol. I get a little bit of of rye spice on the nose, that kind of tingle. There is an underlying kind of of. Uh, almost sweet and sour like you know like a um yeah like like a little bit of sweetness kind of a funk well it's, it's sweet but it's got that it's that 
Sorry, it's the Indiana Rye Funk. <laughs> That's what it is. Could, very well could be. All right, All right let's, let's see what it's like. Cheers. Cask. That's interesting. <laughs> so, very sweet up front to me. Um, spicy on the back end. Very well balanced. Not much oak. I don't get a whole lot of oak, although the finish does kind of dry up pretty quickly. What? <laughs> He's making a lot of noise over here. I want. I want. To, I want your thoughts. I'm. It's. It's. I'm. I'm kind of at a loss for words. So first of all, I hate how much I like this mm -hmm. because the nose is is not great. And again, fresh pop, we'll neck pour. We'll come back to it. It is sweet and malty and spicy and sweet again. And it lingers for a little while. And it has this almost scotch-like funkiness to it. That is just, it's kind of hard to explain. I was really expecting it to be a lot of alcohol from the original nose, like a, an astringent, like it tastes like, I expected it to taste like young, immature bourbon, mm -hmm. which is alcohol, but that's not what I'm getting. It, it really, you kind of taste the mash bill. You taste your way through the mash bill. Yeah. And I, I really think it's interesting. I kind of like this a lot. It's, it's, there's a lot going on. A lot yeah. going on. It, and nothing really, I feel like nothing really mm -hmm. takes control and stands out. It's kind of all these little different nuance nuances battling yeah. it out. A little bit of fruit. It's a little caramel, a little spice. Yeah, it I really think this is not going to be for everyone. Um ooh, I'm starting to get it's funny you said the finish. Now I'm getting a really like dark chocolate, oaky finish on my second Orange. drink. Yeah. Um, really interesting. I'm, I'm having a really hard time with this one. It, a little more ethanol on my second. Did you? Second taste, yeah. Um, this is not for everyone. If you're a, 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 a bourbon drinker, you know, you like very straight lace, like I like bourbon. Probably not going to be for you. No. Um, I, like I said, I, almost a Scotch drinker's whiskey. It really, it really dries up on the finish. Like when you say dry up, you mean your palate dries yeah, up? Yeah, your palate dries up, and well, wouldn't it's that almost be, like yeah, yeah, like like a really oaky. Like I get that from oak sometimes. Yeah, and that's what I was. That was my next point. Is I don't get the oak character, like the oak flavor. Flavor notes. It just dries. Yeah. Interesting. It's an interesting bottle, and I like interesting bottles. Yeah. Let me tell you why I really like this bottle. It's eighty bucks, which is not a, a small amount of money, but it's not a crazy like. Trust me, things are much more expensive than eighty bucks. It's barrel proof. It's really unique. It's really interesting, and it's drinkable. And it's something just absolutely different that, it, first of all, beautiful bottle. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really intrigued by this one. I, but I do feel like I need to spend some time with it, right? Like yeah. initial, like I, I'm still very much kind of processing what's going on here. And I'm getting, as I'm sitting here with it, I'm getting a little bit more of that bitter chocolate mm -hmm. note that comes through. There's something though, there's something that I don't like in there. And it's almost... Well, there's a lot. <laughs> I want to say it's so. turpentine, almost. No, and I've never tasted turpentine, <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know. So an astringent, I don't hate like it. an alcohol? Yeah, there's like an astringency. And I don't hate it. I don't know that I would buy it again, though. I think it's interesting. I really do. 
I think it's interesting. I, I, I look forward to exploring this bottle further. Now, with that being said, if you said, is it great? Do you love it? I don't know. Like I, I really, mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time kind of processing everything that's going on because to me, this is kind of a coin flip bottle. Is this going to like calm down and become like very layered and, and like cascading flavor, depth of flavor? And it or could. It or could. is it going to go the other way? And after it opens up a little yeah. bit, you're going to be left with, oh, that's three-year-old bourbon and rye. I will say that looking at it here in a bottle, it looks almost hazy, which with it being unfiltered, I, I can kind of... It is funny you say that. It, it really... Really kind of does, but yeah, it may just be the lighting, the angle. And it has a it has a gray grayish green label. Yeah. I I don't know. I yeah. I will tell you this though. And, and we talk about this. I talk about this with people all the time. I don't really have any hot like I don't golf. Um, I don't collect things. I don't do models. I I don't have classic cars or anything. Like my hobby is bourbon and whiskeys and stuff like that. I like stuff like this that you open and you're like, man, I really don't know what to think of that. And it leads to conversation. And, and to me, that's worth kind of the price of admission. Well, and when I, so when I think about these things, I think when I'm at home and I, I'm wanting to have a drink mm -hmm. and I look at, I keep a certain amount of bottles upstairs. Right. Where they the, have the lineup, access to right? yeah. What's on the bench? And if this were sitting there with five or six other bottles that I have on my on my counter right now, I have to think: Would I grab this over the others? And I, from what I have on my counter right now, I don't think I would grab this over any yeah. of them. To be honest, with I you. get that. I absolutely get that. But I still think it's an interesting bottle. No, I agree. It it, it definitely is. It makes you think. And like you said, I'd, I'd like to sit with it for a while, maybe yeah. come back to it in a week or so, but we don't have the luxury of doing that on this episode. So what we're going to do is rate it right now. Charlie, rate it. Five. Because I, I, like I said, I really don't, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm, I am intrigued. So I will rate it right in the middle of the road and I can tell you right now, this will be another 60 second bourbon review on our Instagram channel where we revisit it and see as a follow up episode. Five. It's five. <laughs> Ka -ka! Set, Don't ever let me go set, first. You set the bar so low for me. And you know what? I'm kind of glad you did because I feel like sometimes we rate things. I feel like our scale is kind of, we never rate anything below a six, I feel like. So, well, go ahead, rate no. your thing. So I had in my mind, I was going to give it a six before you said five. And I'm like, I feel like he's kind of enjoying this more than I am. If he's giving it a five, I, I got to give it a 4.8. Give it a 4.8. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not in your flavor profile. Doesn't mean it's bad. I can't just, give it a 4.8. Yes, you can. He already has. 4.8. <laughs> it's recorded. We just saw it. Glenn gave it a 4.8. Let me tell you why that's okay. That's is, not okay because I feel like five is just... Uh, it's okay. 4.8 like would be, yeah. I don't feel like this is below average, so I can't give it a 4. .8. So Glenn gives it a 4.99. It's a 5. It's okay for something to be polarizing. It's okay for you to drink something. Quick bourbon PSA. Charlie rant. Can we do a Charlie rant? Stop telling people that bourbons are bad bourbons. It's not bad bourbon. You think it's bad bourbon. We, we have to stop this in the bourbon community. I saw this play out literally last week in a liquor store. A guy looked at another guy who he didn't know and said, don't buy that. That's bad. It's not good. I don't like that. It's gross. It's terrible. It's terrible to you. You wouldn't do that in a grocery store. If right. you were standing next to someone and they were buying Brussels sprouts, you would walk up and be like, hey, don't buy that. That, that stuff's terrible. It's just outside of your but flavor you might profile. say, if you're looking, okay, let's take it to another level. Okay. Someone's looking at the meat, they're looking at steaks, and they're looking at USDA Prime, and they're looking at Choice, and whatever's below that, they may say, eh, don't buy the Choice, get the Prime. I'm going to crush this argument. What are they using it for? <laughs> are they putting it in a crock pot and no, cooking very it? True, very true, See? So no, I'm not arguing with you. I, I, that's 100% true. Be, I, be on I'm your saying, best behavior. There are some bad bourbons. 
there are to you. But you show me a bad bourbon that's on the market, and I'll show you. (laughs) Episode coming soon. No, you're right. And I'll show you people that buy it. Who love it. Who love it. Who have to have it. Who buy it by the case. You're right. Which you probably need to call somebody and and tone it down. (laughs) But the point I'm making is, if you're watching YouTube reviews, which we're glad you are, make sure you like and subscribe, is it's just someone's opinion. And we will tell you what we think of it and the flavors that we get. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you will get the same flavors and your palate works the same way our palate works or that you won't enjoy it. So, And honestly, that's why I'm so hesitant to give a low rating to anything because I would hate to discourage anyone from trying something. But I think our viewership, especially, our, yeah. especially our viewership, which is the smartest, brightest people yes. around, they understand that they are just getting the information and it's theirs to do with what they choose. They, they don't need Glenn and Charlie telling them what to buy. They're just going to make an informed decision based on you know what sure. we tell them that we experience. So should you buy this bottle? <laughs> the answer is if you want to. I'm not going to tell you if whether you, to buy the bottle to. or not. If you want to. If you All I can it, tell you is I wouldn't buy it again. I'm glad he bought it because I am excited. And I will also tell you another thing. There has been many bottles that I have opened and I have poured and been like, well, that's a waste. And then I go back to them and I'm like, you know what? I I kind of enjoy this bottle. Sure. And having said that, that doesn't mean I won't buy Redwood Empire. I love Redwood Empire. Everything I've had from them so far, I've really liked, except for this one. There you go. Guess what we're going to do? In honor of Glenn's first sub five rating, we're doing a giveaway. And we are going to give away this beautiful Redwood Empire Jim Beam decanter. Now, before you get all crazy and start clicking things, it's empty. But it's from 1967, I think. And this has no connection to Redwood Empire. It doesn't. 1967. This is a Redwood Empire Jim Beam decanter. It is still dusty. We kept the dust on it. It's beautiful. Um, It harkens back to an era when they couldn't get bourbon away. Hark. Hark. I love it. And we're giving it away. So if you would like to win this, you have to subscribe to us on YouTube and you have to go to Instagram, follow us on Instagram because that's where we're going to do this giveaway. And if you've already done both of those things, just shoot us an email. Actually, shoot us an email regardless. Yeah, email Let us know. Sewinabourbon at gmail.com. And just and say, let us know. yeah, just title it giveaway. And then in the you know subject, write why uh, you like trees. Yeah. I kind of hope no one does that because I like this. It's this cool. Is cool. It's very cool. Yeah. So we've got That's a bunch great. of old decanters that we're going to give away. So and it's got a map of the state of California. It does, with all the Redwood Empires trees. Glenn, tell them what to do. We need you to go to Instagram, follow us at So in the Bourbon, TikTok, Whiskey Realtor, YouTube, here, like and subscribe. Most importantly, yeah. And as always, keep your wallets loose. And your bungholes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Trees. Maybe an alien. (laughs) Oh, my (laughs) gosh. I was going to go. (laughs) If you're interested in applying for a co-host position on Sona Bourbon, send an email at... So in the bourbon at gmail.com. Do you ever watch V? You're too you're too young for that. Uh, I've seen V, yeah. Had V the comic books. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> Didn't even do anything. <laughs> this is why they're okay, here. here if the UFO <laughs> lands, they're like, we demand to see the so in the bourbon guys. How do you know I'm not an alien? You know what? Valid point. Yeah. I got it. I said cask. Cask. I had saw it. it was, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud. Walking? Yes, Christopher Walken. Your tone. It's all wrong. Frankenstein never scared me. My soupials do. It's because they're fast. They dart. It's hard to keep a beat on them. <clears throat> Are you ready? Am I in shot? Nope. Damn it. Oh, it looks better that way. Mm-hmm. Funny.
<laughs> we should film an episode. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> it's only about, stop doing that. Sit normal. Well, <laughs> seriously, sit normal. Now you're. I'm leaning back. What do you want? Slouch like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> like a lean. No, I'm just saying the height, it doesn't look that much different when we're just sitting. Well, you have short, stubby legs. Do you have baby little legs? Maybe I have a long, no, no, long no, torso. No, no. What <laughs> right. the hell is going on? Let's do this. Trees. Film it before the UFOs get us. Three, two, one, go.